Hello my perfume lovers, addicts, fanáticas de perfume como yo. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another video. Happy Friday. We made it to the week again. Uh, so this video, as you can see in the title, is about uh, Boss Lady Fragrances, which what I really want to say is Boss B Fragrances, but you understand what I'm saying. So when I think of Boss Lady Fragrances, not necessarily is does this mean you have to be a manager a supervisor a business owner uh or anything like that what it means is that when you walk in a room you are your attention you command attention because they you know that the the smell that when you pass by the people will make them think like wow who's that she must be someone important because she just smells like she's important you know <laughs> so so yeah, so these are the, the fragrances that came to mind when I thought about that. I'm not going to go into notes this time. I'm just going to tell you what I think real quick because I have a few and I don't want to make a super long video. Okay, so the first one that came to mind was Marc Jacobs Decadence. So this one I put in my little uh, dense video. As you can see, there's barely anything left in there, not even for one wear. And this is discontinued, which is really sad um so uh after this one is done which is practically done uh, i will be buying the divine decadence which i smelled and i really liked and it's really similar to this anyway so that's that okay the next one is uh this is prada amber and i really love this um it's very classy very beautiful and i just I just love it and I I do have it is like pretty much more than halfway so it and I was searching for the Prada um, Amber Intense but I couldn't really it was sold out I couldn't find it anywhere but the, this one is beautiful great lasting power and everything um, so yeah that's that one the next one I'm going to mention is Pure Poison by Dior this is a white floral um, it is very classy because I do associate boss boss women with being classy because if you are a boss, you have to have class or else you're just going to look crazy, right? So I'm going to spray this real quick. I haven't actually worn this in a long time. Um, so it's very nice. Very nice. I think they someone might have said that this is similar to Jasmine Wisp by Rasasi. But yeah, this is very nice. This is very nice. That's that one. And the next one is YSL Libre Intense. So YSL Libre is classy and beautiful. Um, the Intense is just more bold. It's more, uh, of course, strong uh, and it does have good lasting power. But this is just something that I said, like when you wear this, somebody will smell you and they will think wow like who is that that is what this gives me very nice very nice very nice there's that one okay the next one that i have here is athalia by parfums de mali so this is it does this is more of a powdery um iris scent with some amber so this one when i smell this that is just what i get i said this is a boss woman this is and i also associate the iris the note iris with powdery and classy uh so that is just what i get when i smell this it's very good it's very good but it is very this is a very classy um fragrance um that's why i don't really wear it a lot because i'm um i have to be in the right mood for this i have to be in the right mood for this but it is that's what you're looking for this is a good one don't pay full price <laughs> okay because i didn't <laughs> okay the next one that reminds me of a boss and class is roberto cavalli the original the one with the zebra the one with the zebra uh stripes on it so this one is another one of those classy boss lady fragrances okay yes it's very nice it's very nice this one i don't always wear it like i said um because it 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 is more mature 
it is not vintage smelling or anything but it is mature so i do have to be in the right mood for it but it is very classy like that is what i get when i smell it classy and i know i keep saying classy and this is a boss fragrance but like i said one thing goes with another okay so that's that the next one i have here this is actually a imitation uh this is it's called In the Mood by Julian, Juliana's Perfumes. And this is the imitation for Oud Satin Mood by MFK. So this does have that touch of Oud, right? And it is strong. So this one, uh, when you wear this, you know, be ready. You're going to leave an impression. And this is so good. This is so good. This definitely will command attention, command the room, and it will leave a scent trail, okay? that's that one and oh i did um test that with uh the, the i had a little sample of utsa and mood and almost identical so you know that's a good uh imitation good dupe all right the next one that i have here how could i make a boss lady fragrance video without coco chanel mademoiselle chanel is one of the designers that are so classy and so elegant and this is just beautiful, as you can see. Yeah, I, I wear her for special occasions and she's already, you know, halfway. Uh, this is a beautiful, beautiful patchouli rose, all that good stuff is in here. And this is just so classy and definitely will be smelled and people will, you know, want to know who you are, okay? That's that one. And that's the intense version because you know I love strong stuff, okay? Next one we have is Carolina Herrera, Good Girl, of course. This one, I do consider this a sexy fragrance, so I would put that in a sexy fragrance video, but it is also very, it could be a boss lady because if you're wearing these heels, you might just be a boss, okay? So I'm gonna spray this. This has so much beautiful gourmand notes in it. It has so many notes. It has coffee, vanilla, tons of stuff um it's so good and it's strong it always makes me want to sneeze so that's that one the next one i have is this bottle just when i look at this Dela, uh, dylan blue versace dylan blue when i look at this bottle i just think of a boss i don't know why it has that beautiful blue you can't see it with this lighting but it has that beautiful like dark royal blue color um, so it just makes me think of class and royalty, not royalty, but um, I don't know what I'm looking for, what word I'm looking for, but I do want to spray this today because there's a green or granny apple note in here and I never really got it before, but I feel like I'm getting a little bit better with notes and stuff. And now I get it. Now I'm getting it. That makes me so happy. That makes me so happy because I really want to get better and learn to recognize notes in fragrances that would just fill my heart with joy. Okay. So that's that. Um, and I do this, I do understand what they say about shampooy. Um, it but it just is just clean, elegant, and classy. That's what I get from this, okay. The next one I'm going to talk about, I'm actually wearing this, is Luxury Rouge by Riffs. This one is not in Fragrantica, uh, but this is an imitation for Rouge Malachite by Armani, uh, the private line. And I also have Bad B by Juliana's Perfume. I have a little sample. They are almost the same, exactly the same, but this one is a little bit smoother. This one's a little bit sharper but they're almost the same, especially when they dry down and everything. So it this is definitely something classy. Um, and I don't know why I haven't worn it in a long time. I've just been so moody. I've been moody with fragrances and um, uh, Julia from San Seven, she had mentioned that, uh, you know, uh, us as women, we have hormones that are constantly changing and that does affect what fragrances we want to wear how they smell on us if they last they don't last so all of that plus our taste is always changing this is so good so nice okay that's that and the next one is alien musk mysterio 
mysterious i don't know how you say that but this is uh it has musk and spices and then it has the jasmine and then i think orange blossom uh so this is just such a beautiful look at that bottle i just love the alien bottle i love them i almost love all of the aliens and the flankers but so this one is strong okay just beware of that when you spray this they're gonna smell you from far away when you especially when you just spray it um it's not for every day but this is when you want to make a statement it's so pretty and it gets much better when it dries down okay so that's that one now the last one that i'm going to mention is Bade al oud amethyst by latafa this is uh said to be um really close to atomic rose by initial which i have the sample and it's true but um this does have a little bit of a a little bit of a syntheticness to it and it has um it has oud and uh, atomic rose is a little bit different uh, a little bit like i don't know sharper maybe and yeah and it doesn't have oud so this but this one is very nice and this will command like i said command attention when you walk in the room they're gonna smell you some people might not like it <laughs> they might not like what they're smelling but but they will smell you and they will recognize and you know so that's that one um so yeah those are the boss fragrances that i thought of when i thought of what does a boss smell like so yeah, so I hope that you like my choices and let me know which ones you think are boss fragrances that I didn't mention. Um, and yeah, see you in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share and all that good stuff. And yeah, until next time. <laughs> Bye.